in this question, a balloon is filled with 2.58 moles of diatomic oxygen, O2 gas, that has a pressure of 2.4 atm at a temperature of 303 kelvin. Our goal is going to be finding the mass of gas in the balloon, the volume of gas in the balloon, and finally the density of the gas in the balloon. So our first step, finding the mass. Now we've been given the moles and we've been told the type of gas that we have. So we can use those to figure out the mass of gas in the balloon. So let's head to our reference sheet. This is on the moles page of the reference sheet. We've got the mass and moles equation. Mass is N, the number of moles, multiplied by capital M, which is the molar mass of our substance. So M equals N times capital M. N is our number of moles of gas, which is given here in our question, 2.58 multiplied by M, capital M, that is our molar mass of our substance, which is diatomic oxygen. So we want to find the molar mass of diatomic oxygen. We've got two oxygen atoms in a diatomic oxygen. So let's head to our reference sheet. Here's our periodic table. We're looking for oxygen. And here it is. So oxygen has a molar mass of 16. That's the molar mass of oxygen. So diatomic oxygen, O2, is going to have a molar mass of 2 times 16, which gets us 32 for a molar mass of oxygen. So our molar mass of oxygen is 32.00 grams per mole. So we're going to put that into our equation here. And if we multiply those together, that's going to get 82.6 grams of oxygen in the balloon. Let's check that we got that right. Awesome. Okay. So that was our first step. We used the molar mass of our substance along with our equation for the mass in order to find the mass of gas in the balloon. Our next step is finding the volume of gas in the balloon. Now in the question we're given the number of moles, the pressure and the temperature. So we're going to be using our equation for ideal gases in order to figure out the volume of the gas. So again let's head to our equation sheet. And here's our ideal gas law we used in the previous skill, PV equals NRT. So now we're using PV equals NRT, that's our ideal gas law. We're trying to find volume, so let's rearrange this equation for volume. I'm going to divide by P on both sides so that that will cancel out the pressure on the left. We're left with volume equals NRT divided by P. So let's go ahead and put our numbers in there. This part should be familiar from the previous skill. So if you're not sure on this part, go back and practice the previous skill a bit more to make sure you're confident on this. Our N is our number of moles. We've got 2.58 multiplied by R. That's our molar gas constant, which we can find on the equation sheet. Here's our molar gas constant. We want the second one, which is in units of liters ATM per Kelvin mole. So 0 0.0821. So 0 0.0821 for R, the molar gas constant, multiplied by a temperature in Kelvin, which we're given in the question is 303. And finally, divided by our pressure which we're given in the question here is 2.40 atm. So here we're just using our ideal gas equation. If we calculate that out in our calculator, that's going to give us a volume of 26.7 litres. 
So let's fill that out and check we got it correct. Awesome, okay. So we've now got the mass and we've got the volume. Our final step is to find the density. So let's again head to the reference sheet. This is on the density page of the reference sheet. We can find our density equation. Density equals mass divided by volume. So for our last step, density equals mass divided by volume. We calculated our mass in the first part. We got 82.6 grams divided by our volume, which we calculated in the second part. We got 26.7 liters. That's going to give us a density of 3.09 grams per liter. And let's just check we got that correct. 3.09 grams per liter. Awesome. So you can see this skill brings together several different skills from the past. Firstly, we've got using the molar mass and the number of moles to find the mass. Then we've got using the ideal gas law to find the volume of gas in the balloon. And finally, we're using the density equation to calculate the density from the mass and volume we've just found. So there's several different steps within this skill. Remember, your temperature's got to be in Kelvin for you to use the ideal gas law equation. So if you're given the temperature in degree C, make sure you convert to Kelvin first before you put that in your ideal gas law equation.